So, I fired up my Don't Starve Together, and I swear there's something different going on here. Like, what? What? <laughs> Just kidding. Look at that! Clay went and threw us a curveball, and uh, we have a WX78 refresh beta build. I went ahead and turned that on. Parade of Laughter tipped me off to it uh, a little bit earlier today. Uh, I saw it on the, the Clay Ambassadors thing as well, uh, after I saw that on our Discord. Uh, yeah, there is there is a beta update for WX78, so I think uh, we might have to start off with that here today. Uh, check out what new toys WX gets. Uh, we'll look at the patch notes here in just a minute. And then after that, depending on how long it takes uh, for us to play around with WX, we may uh, switch over to Wanda. That'll require going back into the Steam settings to uh, switch that over there. Hey there, Ilyen. We got Prey to Laughter and Ozon. Welcome, everybody. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, we'll sit tight for just another minute. Asteria, welcome, welcome. Look at Asteria, there's a WX. He's like, like tinkering inside his chest, looking all concerned about it. We got light bulbs and I don't know what that is back there. That looks like that's, they, they had a teaser image with a little whirly dingy thing. And I bet that that's what that is. Cause that looks like that could be a, you know, flip that out to two sides and be a propeller and or have the light or something. I don't know. We got Mr. Who's an Idiot. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> WX is finally fixing himself. He gets upgrades. <laughs> he found his self-worth. <laughs> I don't know. He's still going to be the same snarky robot that everybody loves. So, yeah, that'll be fun. You mean we're checking out Jazzy's stream? Yeah, I did have a chance to do it. I was busy all morning taking the dogs in to get them defurified and get their nails ground and, and groceries and stuff. We got Skeletal1247 and Eli Cooper. Welcome, welcome. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the uh, patch notes for this. Go ahead and throw that over here on screen. Let's make it nice and big and zoom in on it. That's so all readable. Uh, let me scroll back up. So up to the top, game update, WX78 refresh, now live on the beta. Let's check out what's new. So he can now create circuits that can be installed to unlock special abilities. And that's kind of along the lines of the hope and the direction, or the direction I was hoping that they would go with WX, is let him use, you know, gears or otherwise craft things to customize himself in different ways other than just raw stat upgrades. Uh, ooh, out of topic question. When is the next room mode guide? Hopefully tomorrow. I've got mm, about three quarters of the editing done, uh, but I also have kids home the rest of the day and all day tomorrow. So we'll see how that plays out, but hopefully I'll have that ready to go sometime tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be like super bright and early when I normally have them or a little bit later in the day, but tomorrow, if not tomorrow, then absolutely Saturday at the latest, and that will finish up the three part uh, room world guide I've been putting out. Um, let's see, he can unplug circuits by utilizing a circuit extractor and circuits have like some charge function. So he's going to have like a charge meter or something, uh, probably that limits the number of circuits he can have plugged in at a time. When does the update come out? Uh, I don't think it's been announced. Most of the time the betas last for one to two weeks. So expect it sometime in the next one to two weeks. That's my guess. Uh, he learns to construct circuits by scanning organics with the Bioscanalyzer, which is a very don't starve type name there, combination of two words, scan and analyzer. So scanalyzer. Also produces biodata, which is used to create circuits alongside materials from the scanned organic. So it sounds like you have to kill stuff, get the materials from the scanned organics, and then do that. Hey, Lydia Marie! Welcome, welcome. Glad to see ya. We're checking out WX78. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Uh, so it's got an electrical charge meter that powers the circuits. Meter restores itself over time. Can also be restored by other means. Dun, dun, dun. That sounds all sorts of sinister. Probably by getting like shot by lightning or something. Who knows? If he gets wet, begins to lose electricity, run out of electricity, begin to lose health. Also, why do they refer to WX78 as they? That seems weird. It's like tripping me out. Uh, lose electricity when starving, and then if they no longer have electricity to maintain their charge level. Uh, eat gears to regain health, sanity, and hunger, and if you die, drop some of the gears that, that have been eaten. And clockworks are less aggressive towards WX78. So that's kind of interesting. we got Alessandro Rossi. I've uh, been watching the guys past streams, decided to come in and join and say hi. Well, thank you so much for stopping by to say hi. 
<laughs> you were nervous about everybody's always nervous about reworks it's like i'm just hoping that they don't have the collective uproar that they had over the the wolfgang rework because man that was just a i don't want to say the term that is most apt for describing that <laughs> yeah i haven't seen any coverage of wx7 yet yet at all so i have no idea um, how people are responding to it. Um, some other little changes there, a bunch of little Wirt tweaks. I've never played as Wirt, so I don't really have much comment on all that. And then pick something about the new Deer Clops attack. Uh, and then Oath for Modder. So yeah, that's that's what the update says. Let's move that back out of the way. Flip some settings around over here. Get my stream chat back up. Nervous isn't nervous, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to go and create a new game because I don't currently have a game. We will call this WX78 Beta. I'm going to make this uh, local only. I don't want anyone to stream snipe me or anything like that. Jump into my game and gank me. We'll set it at endless. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Mods, I mean, these are all the, the mods that I use sometimes for like the uh, dedicated server. I'm just going to have, I don't know that we'll get to winter on this. I don't really need any of this stuff. We'll put epic health bar in just in case we fight something. Uh, I'm not going to have any of the rest of that. And that should be good. I'm not going to change any of the other general settings. We'll be using mods. We'll be using um, too many items plus to spawn things in, go god mode and other stuff. One second. Oh, <laughs> my son gets homework for spring break. <laughs> He'll be bitter about that, I'm sure. That's that's true. Is that why we're doing the they there? So they have to do a he, she. Seriously, English needs genderless pronouns. There's other languages that have genderless pronouns and they're so much more convenient. But like the different romantic languages that have like genders for all sorts of things by default, I think it just needs to, I don't know. I don't want to get into a discussion about that stuff, but it's just so much more convenient. <laughs> but anyways, all right, let's see what we got for WX78. Hopefully they get a new music. I really want to hear a new music for the title screen. Uh, I don't really have a lot of skins for WX. I definitely don't want to... No. <laughs> just... No. Oh, let's have the gear, the gear case open, because that's fun. Uh, let's... No, I don't want that. What else have we got? No, no. Standard gloves there. Uh, that's kind of funny. Oh, I like those. Those go well with the chest. We can do that. <laughs> we can do those toes. Uh, now we're gonna go default boots. All right. So he's got his he's got his chest case open. We're gonna be tinkering around in there. WX actually was a he back in the day. Interesting. Hey, there's Zero. Welcome. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna check all of this, or check out the the WX seventy eight. Oh, there's a little charge meter over there. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That reminds me of isn't there like a thing in Among Us where you have to like drag the cords over and plug them in? It totally looks like that. Oh, that thing is his bio scanalyzer. I don't think I can equip it though. I can just right click to drop it. How do I scanalyze your things with it? Serviceable trait. How do we do it? Circuit extractor unplug. Oh, here we go. It can then analyze. No. How do I scan him? Oh, okay, then you can deploy it. I might... Oh, it's got... Hang on, I gotta change that setting. I prefer to have... Um, can I do it in here, or is it... Uh, rat. I prefer it where um, my geometric placement doesn't pop up automatically just when I press a hotkey for it. I don't like it popping up all the time, it's just too weird. Alright, so how do I... <laughs> can, can you just go scan a rabbit so I don't like scare it? How do I scan a rabbit? Yeah, 
Deactivate. Go get him! Oh, man? Seriously, how do I actually go about scanning a rabbit? That's what I want to do is scan a rabbit. With B? Oh, that's right, it is with B. Um... Off. There it is! So, deploy it here. See if it'll fly over to a bird. Can you fly over to a bird? I did! just fell off. Did you see that? I don't know how I feel about his arm falling off. How do you get it to scan stuff? Maybe if I get between me and the rabbit. Like, oh, there we go. Oh, rabbit, you getting scanned. Did I get enough of a scan, though? Do I have to, like, pen a rabbit? I stay close enough to it. Scanning, scanning. How do I know when it's sufficiently scanned? Scan that rabbit. This is all very unusual. Alright, did you do anything? Weird. Here's try a butterfly. Butterfly is easier to scan. It's like a whole new mini game. Oh, oh, oh! It did a little printout! <laughs> Pick up the bio data. Examine. Disgusting raw bio data. Begin the refining process. Okay, so. Oh, I just did a thing. Um. As a circuit. <laughs> a hearty circuit. Make your robotic body a bit more robust. But we gotta kill a, uh... Kill a butterfly to make it. Oh, that's funny. And then we have one of those. So how do we... Seriously, how are we gonna scan a bird? Go scan the bird. Not close enough? again. Go scan the bird! Why won't you scan the bird? I wonder if it'll only scan stuff that actually can be scanned. So, uh, XT, I'm just gonna call you XT for short. Ooh, ice staff, that's a good idea. We're gonna give ourselves an ice staff. Hang on. Close that. Because we're not playing legit right now. We're just, whoa, hang on. Go that way. Alright, close that off. Really? Hey, we got a butterfly up there still. Go gank a butterfly. Come here, butterfly. Come here. Didn't mean to do it that way. Whoa, 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 whoa! That, like, auto attack there. Weird. That was... That was something. I'm not sure what's going on there with that. Alright, so now we can make a circuit. And then we right-click and plug it in. <laughs> And I plugged it in. Uh, what did that actually do, though? I wasn't paying attention to... What were his stats to start with? And then we can extract it. And just pop it out, and then it loses... Okay, so it did give us some, some health there. It was at 150 to start. So plus 50 health on that one. All right, so we can plug that back in. They do break over time, it looks like. Alright, that's cool. I dig that. Have I gotten early access to the beta out? No, this isn't early access. This is just public. This is just uh, what it is. Let's see if we can keep that guy. All right, can you scan him? It apparently does not want to scan a bird. Bummer. Um, let's actually just give ourselves free craft. Uh, no, close the close the thing. What? Did you, what? 
I did not mean for it to do that. I don't understand why I was doing that. There's like changes on controls here. I never did that before. All right, we're gonna do free crafting. No, why? Seriously, WX? I don't understand what is going on with you and your killing the bird antics right now. All right. Make a torch. Now we have a torch. Okay, um... <laughs> yeah. Now only pigs can fly. This is kind of fun. I like that guy. All right, we're going to try freezing a rabbit in the morning and see if we can't get a rabbit fully scanned and get its bio data out. But yeah, there's like, whoops. Wait, why is it showing everything in there? Oh, because I've got free crafting on now, so it's like showing all of the stuff. Um, so yeah, there's like lots of circuits. Party circuit 2.0. That's exciting. Extra processing power to ease your mechanical head. So that's probably going to be like sanity boost. Uh, show your brain and body who's in charge. Drone master circuit. Wow, requires jelly beans and the super processing circuit. Uh, hang on, let's just get a, a battle spear. I want a battle spear because I can. All right, get back to circuits. Take a look at these. Uh, gastro expansion circuit, hollow legs. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Well, that lets them have a bigger stomach because you can store food in your stomach instead of, or in your legs instead of just your stomach. Scan scuff, use data to make circuits and then eat circuits to upgrade to make yours. Yeah, basically, but it's way more customized. Hastily designed speed booster. Ooh, I like the sound. Of oh, we got to scan those rabbits. Being a rabbits. Yeah, the rabbits get scared of the uh, little whirly thing chasing them, which is kind of a bummer. All right, let's get another rabbit to come out. We're going to freeze it and see if we can scan it while frozen. All right, scan, please. I wonder if it requires a different amount of time for different types of creatures. There we go. We got it. We got the bio circuit. Probably going to need a live bunny for that, though. Where was it? Yeah, we need live bunnies. So let's get a trap. I still don't know where anything is in here. Because we don't have, like, the old survival tab. Is it in food? It's in food. All right, little trap. We'll find another rabbit. Trap a rabbit and make a speed circuit. If I don't find a good rabbit to track or trap, I'm just gonna. I gotta get rid of it. Yeah, there he goes. Um, could just spawn in a rabbit too. Suppose that would also work. <laughs> I will right, do it that way. Why am I even bothering to catch the rabbit? I can just just make the things. This is more fun. Here, I'll even turn off free crafting for that. There. Now we can just see our stuff. Wait, what else did I need? Oh, I need two bio datas for Wait, no, I've got two bio datas. Error insufficient data. Why does it say insufficient data? Yeah, so far, I think this is pretty cool. Um, Because, you know, getting Wolfgang all. Do I need, like, specific datas? Take that rabbit. Um, can make another one of that. Oh, that's cool. Never hurts to have a backup scan. Because the bio data is. <sighs> Interesting. So I had to scan more than one to get the circuit recipe unlocked, I guess. All right, so we can make that, and I wonder... I wonder if that's going to take up a lot of plugs, because look at how big that is. So is that single plug, double plug, double plug, triple plug? I bet it does. And even one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have enough. Let's see what happens. Insufficient space. Interesting. So can I just unplug a specific one? No, it looks like it probably unplugs everything. 
Um, hang on, let's try getting something else. Recalibrate your optic sensors for night vision? No way. For some worms. That's funny. Can you still eat gears? Yeah, you, apparently, according to the patch notes, uh, you can still eat gears just for like stat restoration. Got a stage hand. Can we scan frogs? Oh, look, we found a Chester already. This is a good world already. All right, there's our mole worms. Don't have any flint. Oh, give me the rock. So it does give you that little pop up when there is something that you can scan. So that's good to know. We only scan while they're out of the burrow or out of the ground. Yeah, I don't think it's actually scanning him. Come back up. Hang on. I need more. Need more stuff. Lint. Whoops, that's too much stuff. Come back, little guy. Yeah, it only scans while they're up. We could bonk him with a hammer and then when he's done there, probably scan him some more. Does the scanning have to be... Okay, so it doesn't have to be continuous. It seems to be just like a certain amount of time, uh, even if it gets interrupted. That gave me the, the circuity thing. So now I have the recipe requires four datas. Does it use up the data when I make the thing? I don't know that it did. And then we're going to need a hammer. So close that. Hammer. Exterminate. That's right, WX, you tell him. Exterminate that guy. All right, so now we have the optoelectric circuit and we can plug that in and see what night vision looks like. Wow, it's just like, that's cool. Look at it, look at it. That is handy. I I really dig this. The, the, the degree of customization that comes into play here with the way that you uh, have to make choices about what upgrades you actually have in there. Uh, where can one read up on the patch notes? One moment. One can read up on the patch notes right there. Whoops. I just posted that in the Discord accidentally. Let's uh, not do that. Do... How did that pop up? Eh? Wrong tab. Okay. There it is. Um, in general, if you just Google like DST updates, that'll take you to the updates form that has all of the new information. So the cool thing about this is it does not appear that this is going to be running down. Um, I don't know that I'd want this on all the... T Ooh, spider webs look creepy there. Oh, can we scan the spiders? My spear go there. Nope, nothing to scan on the spiders. So yeah, I guess with the birds too, since it didn't get excited, the little whatchamadingy thing didn't get excited with the birds. Oh, we got a swamp. Find some mosquitoes. I bet mosquitoes want to be scanned. Now it's actually nighttime. Think hole. So and actually what we can do to figure out what things are even scannable is just looking at the recipes. Um, well, that's interesting though, because that does... What do you have to scan to get that? Because it didn't like the spiders. I wonder if it'd be like their spiders or different spiders. <laughs> My bio scanalyzer is not interested in these here spiders. I wonder if you could scan Weber. <laughs> That'd be funny. Let's just leave it out for a little bit. I'm just gonna use my little mod here and just top off my stats. Oh, it turns off for daytime. Okay, I was really wondering, whoops. I was really wondering um, 
if you'd have to unplug it during the daytime, but that's actually cool that it automatically shuts off for daytime. I'm not sure why it was on for dusk. Seems a little bit unnecessary. Let's see if it likes pigs. Come on, bioscanalyzer. That is a large organic substance. It's just called a pig a substance. Seems inappropriate. Doesn't care for birds. Yeah, I don't know. We scan beefalo. Insufficient data. Super processing circuit. So maybe that's going to need to scan. Ooh. If it calls Bob and Steve something that is subject to the bio scanalyzer, I think I'll be a little bit disappointed because that just doesn't seem right. Does this have to scan the queen bee or the grumble bees maybe? Drone master circuit. Show your brain and body who's in charge. Forest box circuit. Oh wow, I wonder what you have to scan for that. Gastro expansion. <laughs> Barger for the gastro expansion circuit. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna spawn a Barger. Oh, oh, it still wants the butterfly. Well, we already did the butterfly, didn't we? Butterfly's not sure which one's scared of more, me or the other thing. Okay, so yeah, you can just rescan stuff, I guess, for those. Oh wait, I dropped my thing. Does it show up on the map? It does. This little blinky light. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna spawn in a barrier here and uh, see what we can do with that. Go back over this way a little bit further away from the pigs. Yeah, it's his robo pet taking a walk. Totally is. All right, I did want to check and see. So let's unplug my circuits. And they start to lose some durability. Uh, let's give myself a backpack real quick. Backpack. Um, put those over there and let's go ahead and plug. Oh, oh, they, they, oh. Really, Clay? You, you put it so that it overlaps with the default position of the backpack? That's gotta be fixed. Um, where's the setting to merge the backpack? We'll put that down at the bottom. Okay, so that puts the backpack down there so we don't have it overlapping, because that's that's not right. That's gotta be switched. They gotta move it up or something. Yeah, 25 durability is a bit much, but again, it does force you to make decisions about which things you wanna have. Wow! <laughs> Um, I thought that would improve my speed. I am not sensing what feels like an increase in speed. Unplugging it require or caused me to lose charge. Does it have to charge up more to... Huh. I don't know that I have a way to... Inspiration key. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Yeah, I don't know if there's a command or something to charge faster. Um, I could try a lightning strike. Yeah, lightning strike worked. Oh, oh, it lit up. Okay, that's a modest speed boost. Um, didn't feel really strong on the speed effect there. Let's see if we can't get uh, Bob or Steve to volunteer. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it is taking up all the slots. So you can actually, on here, you can count the number of prongs, the little plug connector things, and you only have six uh, slots on your circuit board, and each of those take up as many circuits as it shows on the picture there. So the biggest is these six slot ones. That one looks like it's five. Yeah, you can see a little bit better right there. Illumination circuit lights up the area around you. That's cool. wonder what you're going to have to scan for that, though. But so far, it doesn't seem like he's wanted to scan any just plant-type things. And deploy this guy. Let's get myself a uh, green caps. Oops. All right, let's go crazy. All right, where is the Bobs and Steves? If it scans the Bobs and Steve, I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. 
Because I am sticking with my theory that Bob's and Steve are not living beings. They are non-corporeal. They're non-biological. You'll go read the code in the meanwhile. Yeah, let us know what you find out in there. Bob and Steve. I'm gonna give myself a Bob. Oh wait, it doesn't work like that. Clay, you need to fix that. Uh, crawling horror. Alright, there's a Bob. Alright, scanner thing does not care about Bob. Alright. That's good. If it had actually cared about Bob, that would have been weird. I don't know if I have lag compensation off. Or not for the beta. Where'd he go? I didn't kill him, did I? Uh, looks like you also... Oh, can you? No, no, you have to unplug stuff to swap in anything new. Yeah, I'd be curious to see what the actual speed boost is on that thing. I'm sure that'll get sleuthed out here soon enough. Alright, no need to be crazy. Let's scan in a... or uh, spawn in a barrager. I don't know why I'm eating those when I just do this. Sometimes I are smart. And we're just gonna skip to the next day. Alright, barrager incoming! Uh... Oh, I did kill the Bob. Alright, scanner thing, you gonna... It's not scanning the Barger? Do I have to like deploy it when it says that it's ready to scan something? I don't think it did that. Deactivate you. Well, what do I have to scan for that? All right, Barger, where'd you go? I heard him over there. Alright, so now it's acting like it wants to. <laughs> okay, it's getting the barrier now. No, what, what? Usually staying up close and personal with the barrier is not good for your health. Very passive barrier. Going for a walk. Any day now. I feel like this should be like a Winnie the Pooh show or something like that. All of these friends walking in a row. It's taking forever to scan this guy. Like seriously? Any day now. I wonder if I start fighting the Barrager if that'll keep him still enough that... Alright, this might work if we start smacking bees. Oh, I got hit by the AoE there. Any day now. Any day now. Make it s oh no there it goes that took a long time. All right, we got a new circuit unlocked. We got our gastro expansion circuit, so that's just gonna boost your hunger meter. So I'm not terribly excited about actually making that one. Uh, yeah. I don't know, let's plug it just, uh, I'm just gonna free craft in a few more. And, uh, we'll see what all they do. <laughs> You'd rather just make him sleep? Yeah, that's a good point. I probably just should have spawned in a pan flute. Yeah, how fast is he actually going, though? I mean, it feels like it's maybe about as fast as a walking stick. We could probably do, like, a scientific test. Set a point A, set a point B, run between it, count the frames from a recorded video or something. See how it plays out. But, yeah. Oh, wait, what happened to my Chester? Chester get hit there? Did I really let Chester die? Doesn't seem right. I remember him getting hit by anything. Weird. Um. 
Yeah, let's go free crafting and uh, we'll just craft a bunch of these. Alright, so we've got that. Let's try that one. And that one. That one. Horse box circuit. I really wonder what that's going to do. Hollow legs. Uh, we got that speed one. Acceleration circuit. Acceleration circuit 2.0. Ooh, so there is a smaller version of it. That requires a gear in the previous one and a whole bunch of the bio data things. That's cool. Things are about to get heated. Interesting. Oh. Nice drop stuff. Do. Alright, uh, which one did I just do? Alright, so that's gonna be weather related stuff so i'm assuming that that either heats you up or keeps you like a fixed temperature and then that one cools you down uh no it wouldn't let me scan frogs so it really is not a scan everything to learn stuff it only is interested in scanning specific things that it wants so for example electrification circuit i'm going to guess that's going to want volt goats uh so let's go ahead and go to hang on go ahead and go god mode we're going to go over to antlion and I could probably do just, you know, the go next command, but effort. Let's go find a volt goat. Um, want a buzzard? Yeah. So whenever you get close to something that it does want to scan, it starts blinking the little bio scanalyzer. But it was not interested in those guys. The vultures. Volt goats, where are you? Yeah, rock lobster, maybe. Right, ready? Really? I thought it would blink. Oh. Yeah, so interested in volt goats. By right, this time, we are going to do the pan flute. Or just wait for him to go to sleep. Alright. Alright, scan it. Scanning, scanning. I kind of wish I had like a progress meter or something so you could gauge how long it needs to go. I know I did it. I did the pan flute. Um, what mod am I using for the panel on the left? That, yeah, that's the DST thing. They changed the crafting menu with the uh, quality of life update. So, yeah, it does like those guys. Um, have I done making all the things? Did we make that one? I don't think we did. Electrification circuit. Oh, that was the night vision one that we already did. All right, I do want to try that one. That sounds fun. All right, let's go ahead and charge ourselves up. So yeah, I think the lightning... Oh, wait, I've got God Mode on. Really? Uh, I thought I turned Guard Mode off, so the lightning should have been working. Crowd mode disabled. Oh, there we go. So we have to be above the charge level. And that gave us the overcharge lighting area. Interesting. Invent electronic car, right? You buy a charge go? That's a good point. Um, if I'm by the Volt Goats, I do the lighting strike. With that command, will it charge them up? Yeah, he's charged up now. Alright, smack us. I don't know if it is. Yeah, it didn't look like it was. Alright, let's go back to sane. 
Okay, so that just gives you a little bit of light around you, which eh, that's not terribly compelling. Um, let's see what happens when we plug the thermal circuit in. Take that out. Really, Bob? Go away, Bob. Although then we have to zap ourselves a whole bunch to get that reset again. Um, I wonder... I'm going to try something here. Whoops. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. All right, so let's see if I do that and go... Hang on. All right, and if I go God mode, and then if I unplug stuff, I wonder if it'll stay. Oh, what happens if you have both a thermal circuit? And the other one. All right, so my actual temperature isn't changing at all with the thermal circuit in. Yeah, I wonder if those are going to give you just insulation against the temperatures. That would maybe make sense. Hang on, let's change it to winter. Because God Mode's back off, right? Oh, it's disabled. Yeah, my temperature's dropping pretty fast there. Fire. Warm up. See what happens. It won't let you overheat or freeze. Okay, let's get away from the fire then. See what happens. That'd be cool if it just keeps you at like a fixed like five degrees or something. I'd be fine with that. All right, moment of truth. We got down to nine. I don't know if it's actually super cold though, so I'm gonna skip it forward five days. Which now that we're... No, I kept our charge. Oh, we got hound attack. We're hound. Um, so we're at zero temperature. I'm going to assume that the external temperature is actually freezing. And uh, yeah, we're just sitting there at zero. We've got the ice on the outside of the screen, but it doesn't actually freeze us. So that's cool. Uh, that's a good alternative. Just plug in a circuit and you don't have to worry about freezing. <clears throat> My uh, warm one is on. The cold one is not. So the order that you plug things in also makes a difference, too. That's pretty cool. I wanted to see if... God mode enabled. I want to see if having God mode turned on will keep that charged up when I unplug them. Does not. All right, now we know. All right. Um, let's gonna drop those. Let's change it back to autumn. <coughs> Sudden temperature changes. Oh, he's got a different thing on the wetness meter. Look at that. Got a little wire there because it impacts his circuitries. Go ahead and turn the rain off. And warm. I have Godmode back on. All right, Godmode's back off. Go ahead and zap ourselves. Charge up. All the cheating. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Electrification circuit. What did that even say? Ooh, anyone who messes with you will be in for a shock. Okay, we're gonna try that on a Volt Goat. <laughs> she's the way they like popped up and like sparks went out his ears. That was pretty fun. Um, what else have we got here? Let's try the speed circuit, acceleration circuit 2.0. Yeah, it's only a two slot. So it looks like I'm guessing that's probably the same amount of speed. It just compared to the 1.0 version, I think it's the same amount of speed. It just takes slightly more advanced circuitries to do. Uh, what else do we have? Super processing circuit, which is that. All right, so that will probably boost our sanity up. Let's see what that does. Whoa, yeah, went up to 275 on the sanity. That's cool. I love the way they light up, little neon light effect. All right, I want to go find a Volt Goat. I'm going to smack one of the non-electric ones. 
and see if it electrifies it, because that would be funny. <laughs> it does. That's all sorts of delightful. Ice cream is on the menu, boys. Because <laughs> now we can just kill the electric volt goats all the time. I don't want the two of you, I just want one. Come on. Come on, Billy. How much health do these guys have? Alright, yeah, there we go. We got real easy electric milk now. Oh, here's a question. On a PvP server, if you had two uh, WX78s with that plugged in, they could fight each other to get electrified. Wonder if that would work. Yeah, multiple WXs start hitting each other to overcharge. That's exactly what I was thinking there, Lydia. That's funny. Okay, well that was that was delightful. So yeah, that's what your electric circuit does. That's gonna be some good times. Uh, electrify things. I kind of wanna have something else. Hang on, I'm gonna just spawn a hound in. Mm -mm. Wonder how much damage it does to them. <laughs> five hits. All right, so it's about, he hit me five times, right? So five shocks, enough to kill a hound. Hounds have uh, those ones have what 150 health, so 30. 30 damage per shock, is that what we're looking at there? That's that's not bad. I mean, if you want to go super tanky mode. Were there any... Uh... Hang on, let's... Unplug. Get zapped again. Oh, wait. Wait, why was I not... Oh, it's hitting the Volt Goats. <laughs> do, 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 do. Right, leave that on. Okay, um... So that was the... I haven't tried that one. Ooh, that went up to, to 300 for a two-plug circuit versus that one, which was... Wait, no, that was... That went up to 150, right? Whereas the smaller one is just 50. That one is 50. That one did 150 health. <laughs> shocking. It's all so shocking. Oh, yeah, the animation for the Volt Goats. That one's always cracked me up. It's not quite as delightful as the uh, Slurpers when they die, but that's still pretty fun. All right, what else have we not tried? Chorus Box Circuit. We haven't tried that. I have no idea what that does. Every machine needs a tune-up now and then. Wait, that wasn't the chorus box. Rat. All right, unplug. Uh, chorus box. There it is. What does it do? And play music. I wonder what the effect of that is. Hang on. I'm gonna zap myself a few more times. I wonder if it's a sanity restorer, like an AoE sanity restorer. Tending to plants? That would be hilarious. Um, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do the garden. Jig him a jig. Uh, where is it? All right, it's deploy.
Let's get hoe. Keep forgetting you have to click on those twice when it's in there. Alright. Let's try it. I didn't really need to do any more. Uh, give myself some seeds. Uh, let's do some fluffies. Uh, doesn't appear to be. Oh, no, no, it did! <laughs> oh, that's so funny because he's such a natural source code is sprouting. He's such a, a natural gardener type of character, right? So I just manually talked to that one, but yeah, it, it talks to seeds. That's hilarious. Welcome, David Rodriguez. Welcome to the stream. We are playing around having fun with the new WX78 toys. All right, what have we not tried? Drone Master Circuit. What was that one? What's the description? We did illumination, Drone Master. Show your body and brain who's in charge. Let's go and plug that in. Gastro expansion. That's just going to fill up stomach, so I'm not really worried about that. Um, and actually, let's go ahead and uh, make a chest, and I'll just store some it. We're already done. Alright, so basic health. More basic health. Real big one for moving. Optoelectronic, that was the night vision. Super processing circuit. Was that sanity? I think that was sanity, wasn't it? Is that it? Yeah, Super Sanity, or Sanity Booster. Drone Master we haven't tried. Gastro Expansion, we know what that's going to do. Acceleration was just speed. Electrification, that was kind of fun. Illumination, uh, I don't think I liked that one as much as the Night Vision one. Although, was it the same size? No, that was actually bigger. Interesting. Yeah, the little uh, music box sort of tune is fun. All right, Drone Master Circuit, let's do it. Did that change sanity? So your brain and body, who's in charge? Oh, it required using the super processing, so... I don't remember how much sanity we got from the other one, but this one also required jelly beans. He's not restoring any sanity here at dusk. So, oh, wait, 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 did my health just tick up? No, or the hunger. Sorry, I thought I saw my hunger tick up, but it didn't. I wonder if maybe it gives you some health regen. Um, that, that, let's go. Uh... Yeah, I've got an up arrow on my health. So it must give you a health regen. Interesting. So it probably gives you bigger... <laughs> spawn in a killer beehive. Yeah, we're not sure yet what, uh, what you have to scan for that one. The one that requires the jelly beans. But yeah, apparently I'm getting a little bit of health regen. It's kind of slow. I don't know that I would ever want to use that because getting your health back really isn't that hard. Um, I could just drink some milk. And that gave me a little bit of health back. Make some ice cream! That's some good health food, I think. I can't remember if ice cream does health. But, uh, yeah! I think, have we tried everything here? We did illumination, that's your night vision, shock one's good. So that apparently gives you a little bit of a health regen, and I think it also boosted up the sanity as well. Hunger seems to be the same. <laughs> the music box one. <laughs> Alright, let's unplug that. Let's get our health back up. Um, so yeah, we got the music box one. I'd be curious to see if there's any other effect of that. 
Wait, uh, what was it that I just read? A new tooltip slash lore thing couldn't read it fully. Oh, I know they go by too fast sometimes. Uh, gastro expansion, just going to boost your hunger out. Speed, speed. Uh, warm and cold weather. Sanity, health, health. So yeah, that's I think that's kind of interesting. It's kind of fun. Um, just for fun, let's uh, spawn in some gears. And then let's go ahead and uh, and don't want to kill myself. All right, so then eating the gears still does pretty massive health, hunger, and sanity with that. So yeah, still pretty good. Uh, gears are powerful, and then allegedly when you die, you just drop some of those gears. Eating further gears, though, just waste the gears. Still lets me eat them when I'm topped out. Interesting. Love the Terraria guides. I plan to do more. Yeah, I was, I'm still doing the Terraria guides. I took a little break from doing my normal uh, Terraria and DST stuff because I was working on doing uh, the RimWorld guides. But those are just about done, and then I'll switch them back to the regular content for a little bit. And just mixing in some other kind of one-off ideas that I have as well. Uh, but yeah, next uh, Terraria guide is uh, Wall of Flesh, I think. Yeah, I think that's all that we have left for pre-hard mode. It's just the Wall of Flesh. Um, Alright, I think that's probably... Yeah, overcharging... Oh, you just found out that overcharging each other does not work. So two of the WX-78s with the shocking... Uh, circuit thing doesn't work. That's a bummer. But it's not like very many people play with PvP enabled anyways. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty cool. I think that'll make uh, WX-78 a little bit more interesting to play with. Before he was just kind of bland, I think people might end up missing the overcharge effect of before. Because these speed circuits... Ooh, wait, I just had an idea. And you put multiple of the same circuit in. <laughs> All right, we're about to get the zoomies, I think. Great, great. Oh, I don't think it's doing anything. Is he actually going any faster than just having one? Because if those stack, that would have been really cool. You think we should play for real with WX? Uh, I think I'd probably wait until it's actually in release because a lot of things tend to get changed sometimes with the betas. Yeah, I don't know. Is that any faster than just the one? Try and plugging them and see. Let's see. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. So about three 1,000s to go from the chest to the cactus over there. This is a very high-tech scientific uh, testing method, by the way. All right, let's charge that up. Whoops. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,000. Maybe it is a little bit faster, but I think you're probably getting diminishing t returns there. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, one... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's stacked. I know we lost our chest. Oh no, my potato seeds are burning. I must save them. No, don't burn my potatoes. It was burning a long time there. Um, and they just look really funny on the ground there. Totally like little circuits, like, you know, you place in your car or something like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know that there's much else I really want to do with WX right now. Um, yeah, he'd be fun to play with. I like the fact that you have to kind of pick and choose which of those circuits you have in at a time. It'll be curious to see what the exact stats are for everything. Um, what'd be really cool is if using special combinations of things would like have a, like a cool synergy effect like you know a special combo effect or something like that quick play some tunes oh the uh where'd it go is it up there oh no i still got it here you want to hear the tunes again let's maybe not zap ourselves right on top of it this time
I'm trying to decide if it's like off pitch because I'm crazy. No, it's the same. That would have been funny if it went like all dissonant when you're crazy. These guys apparently don't need to be talked to. Yeah, the speed breaths there, the speed boost, uh, definitely not as good as an overcharged WX before. Um, I'm going to assume that it will stack with, um, you know, walking stick and stuff like that, but it didn't seem to be a very compelling speed boost by any means. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how well received these changes are. They need to move the graphic of that up a little bit higher. Um, that's kind of a fun mechanic. I'd be curious to see what the actual generation charge is. Too bad he can't like make a solar panel, plug himself into a solar panel during the daytime, charge up faster. You can charge it when known as Niter generation, though. That's interesting. Um, can I even recraft that. Where would that be? That. Ah. Own a spotlight. Has the spotlight always been a thing? I haven't really played as Winona. Let's make a nighter generator. <laughs> that's what the spotlight does. Oh, that's funny. So yeah, you can't charge that. Let's unplug these. That's cool. Insufficient charge. I'm not mad, just disappointed. <laughs> uh, let's get a gem. That's what you use for these things, right? Just plug gems into it. Wait, how do you how do you charge these things? Again, I'm a, I'm a noob when it comes to Winona stuff. How do I charge the that generator? Recharge it. Does it eat niter? Add fuel. Charge at the generator. Wow, that takes the whole charge. Just to get one of your uh, WX charges. Well, that makes uh, Winona a little bit more usable. <laughs> Use her as the charge battery for your WX-78s. The gem generator does not work for charging. The niter generator does. Interesting. Yeah, I think that a lot of people forget that Winona exists. They just use her for her catapult for uh, Queen Bee. Speaking of which, let's go see if... Uh, my scanner thingy wants to scan Queen Bee. Do do do. Honey patch. Oh, we also have the killer bees. We're gonna just go God mode for this. Does not seem to be interested in the killer bees. All right, let's smack them down. These bees take way more hits than they probably should take. Well armored bees. Yeah, it's scanning the queen bee there. Turn off free crafting. And it's taking its sweet time to scan her. Oh, there it did. Finally got it. Wait, no, don't do that. Yeah, so that gave us that crown one. Hang on, let me get away from all this stuff over here. Maybe intentional seeing how hard Niter would be to get super late game. Is it really that hard to get though, late game? 
I've gone through a lot of niter if you ran out of all your niters. So that gave us the uh, the drone master circuit. And now I think that's the one that gave us the health regen and it also boosted sanity. I don't remember if it boosted maximum health or anything or just the maximum sanity. But yeah, that's interesting. Make new ones of those. That's pretty cheap to make. Drone, that's not too bad to make. Uh, every boss that can be confined to a space. Uh, oh wait, are you talking about the spotlight? Spotlight is the worst thing in the game. All right. Um, yeah, I think that's all I wanted to see with WX. Um, is there anything anyone else wants me to try out? Are Deer Clops or Spider Queen of any interest? We can drop a... Go ahead and drop a Spider Queen. Maybe it is, because we didn't uh, get... Oh wait, I did that wrong. <laughs> we didn't get any reaction from the spiders, but it did want something that had... Yeah, I think we're interested. Oh, it is the Nurse Spider! That was my other guess! That it would want to scan a nurse spider, and that's probably for the one that had the uh, venom sacks. Alright, so I didn't see what icon it popped over there, but I've got free crafting off. Is that the bigger health one? Yeah, so the bigger health one does require the nurse spider. So that's interesting. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what people view as the best plug combos. Huh. Um, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if Deer Clops and Dragonfly are needed for those two. Go and spawn into Deer Clops. Deer Clops. Oh, yeah, it's interested. Yeah. Got God Mode on. We'll just one hit kill. Old Clopsy. How many plugs uh, you can have at the same time? So you've got six plugs, and different items take up a different number of slots. Blah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that gave us the... Uh, the snow one. So that's probably going to be for Dragonfly. Um, I thought we unlocked that earlier. Or maybe we had creative mode turned on so it wouldn't have unlocked it, I don't think. Still not sure what the illumination circuit's going to be. What are your guesses on that one? I'm sure there'll be a list of these out soon enough. You're going to hope for more upon the full release? Yeah, it's not like a... I don't know. Does it make him significantly stronger? Probably not. I mean, he'll have overall less health, hunger, and sanity even with those upgrades plugged in. Speed is overall a reduce. How do you recharge the plugs? So getting hit by lightning, it recharges naturally over time and using Winona's Niter Generator apparently works. Yeah, maybe the Bulbous Depth Worms. Oh, or the Bulbous Light Bugs. Yeah, that'd be a possibility too. Those are the Light Bugs that are in the... Um, the Grotto or whatever, I think, aren't they? There's a couple different options for that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see. I really want to see what the exact stats are for how much the speed boosts were, because that one definitely did not seem to stack. Um, probably. I mean, I've got God Mode on anyway, so it doesn't matter so much. Yeah, is there anything else we want to try out here? Because otherwise I'll go ahead and switch back to Wanda. we still got to find our wormhole to the atrium since uh, we've been striking out and finding it other methods that don't require void walking. Oh man. Let's uh, turn that back on. Campfire. Not that we're worried about anything. 
The speed works in diminishing returns. Yeah, that's that's what I was guessing. It seemed like it was maybe a little bit faster, but not enough faster to be very interesting. Yeah, I don't think that would be something that people would want to use very much. The music one's amusing. <laughs> Talks to plants for you. But I mean, even now, once you got a baby buddy, you don't need to be a walking music box. Um, it would have been interesting, you know, in a multiplayer setting, you could see if the chorus box maybe does a sanity boost, because that would certainly be better than listening to Walter tell campfire stories. <laughs> Can you burn those? You can't burn them. Really? I light them on fire with a torch. Interesting. Can't burn the bio data. Wow, I didn't know the vultures would fight each other. Who's gonna win? Top or bottom? Vote quick. I don't know who hit who, who hit who first. Taking a while. Yeah, man. What were the name names of the vultures in uh, the original Jungle Book? That's what I always think of with these guys. Don't stop that again. Oh, there we go. It's the top guy one. Fascinating. <laughs> Annoy yourself with the sound. Have you seen Nervous? There's a... I can't remember who it is. I think I linked it in the Discord a while back. A guy that actually took the different shell bells and made a long string and actually played legit songs with them. Can't even imagine how tedious it would be to do that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the real winner's the one eating the food. All right, I think we're going to switch back over to uh, Wanda here. We got to do some stuff with the uh, the normally scheduled programs. But yeah, that's the WX78 beta. Kind of fun to see all that stuff. And uh, be interesting to see what additional changes might be in store for us once the uh, beta goes into release. As well as the, the short. I'm real curious to see what they do for the animated short. So I'm going to go ahead and throw up um, my BRB screen while I switch things around. And I'll be back in just a minute. All right, we are back to regular Don't Starve Together screen. Uh, move some things around. Yeah, I think I think Asteria, I'm with you on that. That I think I think people will have fun with it. You know, it's, it's it doesn't feel overpowered at all. Um, it's definitely more interesting than the previous WX78. So I think I think it'll be fun. Uh, we'll be curious to see though what sorts of circuit combinations people do tend to prefer and uh, how people work that into some of the multiplayer aspect of things. You know, certainly teaming up with Winona, that's going to be nice for the charging station for sure. Um, so he's not quite as dependent on uh, Wicker Bottom to get his overcharge levels. But yeah, curious to see what happens there. All right, let's get back into Wanda. 
Okay, has anyone else been having an issue where if you like alt tab out that it becomes completely non-responsive? Like I can't do anything. It was doing that earlier with the beta and now it's doing it again. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know how to fix it. I can't click anything. Does anyone else have that? I, I haven't seen that other than just today. Does that even show up? Yeah, you guys can see my team friends list when I do that. Yeah. All right, hang on. Relaunch it. You can see my digital blasphemy screen. I've always had a digital blasphemy.com uh, wallpapers on my computers for, I don't know, 20 plus years now. I just like the guy's artwork. It's pretty cool. Charge up at lightning rods? Like you just go up to the lightning rod and absorb the lightning power that was stored in the lightning rod? Because if so, that's cool. Get back into Wanda. I think we're still, yeah, we're down to the cave base right now. Hey there, Imperio. Welcome, welcome. Oh, hey, thanks to us, Breaker, for stopping by. Glad to see you saw the RimWorld tutorial. You had to start over. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, RimWorld's a great game. I'm probably going to start doing some RimWorld streams here. I'm, I'm getting a little burned out on uh, DST and Don't Starve uh, twice a week. Uh, or I guess Shipwrecked and uh, DST. So I'll be mixing things up here in the near future. There's not a lot else that I really want to do with wood legs, and I think once we get through Fuel Weaver, we'll probably call it on the Wanda stream. The pen is mightier than the sword. Words hold great power when used correctly. Yeah, I don't know why. That was from the quality of life update that they put that on there. It apparently has really old. So let's go ahead and get younger. Does Hutch have any other watches in there? I don't think so. All right, I don't even remember exactly what was going on here. My base is upside down. That just wasn't right. All right, we still have some Thulacite. We have some other stuff. I think we mostly just want to run around and kill some more tentacles and try and find which one goes to the actual atrium. We definitely didn't see any spots to get to the atrium uh, just using a telepoof with the lazy explorer because we were trying that last time. Looking around the edges of the map, various locations that appeared to be somewhat close by. Have any food worth doing anything with here? Not so much. Um, I think I'm actually a little bit low on my sanity restoring foods. What am I doing on those? Am I out? I have to go back up surface for a bit. Let's go back up to the surface for a bit. Okay, which one is it? Yeah, that's the one. All right, yeah, let's go mm, drop some things first. All right, that can go there. Those can go there. Do, do, do. Go boggles. Actually, no, keep those on me. Uh, yeah, let's go back up, restock on stuff. Um, uh, make what multiplayer? Oh wait, that wasn't where I wanted to go. All right, bats, get off of my ankle there. Ooh, he was about to take a bite off of me. Oh, are you talking about uh, RimWorld multiplayer? Yeah, I saw some talk about that somewhere. I think on Reddit where people were playing. Wait. Bitch. That's the one that goes back to the. Yeah, that's the big beef of the band. But presents! It's open presents. Yeah, I've never tried a RimWorld multiplayer. I keep trying to convince my wife to try it. She might like it. Beans Talons. Yeah, I don't want to wear those. 90 shock damage per hit. Ooh, that could be interesting, Harrison. 
Uh, yeah, I have no idea if the shock damage would stack. Um, that would be interesting. That would be definitely interesting. Just wear some marble armor or whatever. And then just let something smack you a bunch. I just gotta be careful with these guys. I've gotten hurt. The stupid bats. Alright, let's see if I can actually... I did it without hitting the lure plant. Are you guys just so proud of me right now? Because every other time I've come out here to get the leafy meats, I always smack them before I remember that I have to right click instead of left click. I actually take the leafy meats. Well, that was pretty exciting. I feel good about that. I might actually have to do some gardening. It's been so long since I've done any gardening. I wonder if this jerky's any good still. Oh, it is good jerky. Yeah, we needed some hunger. We'll go ahead and eat those. We got up here. More of that stuff. Got a couple of honey. Make some jelly salad real quick. Oops. Come on. Get in there. Uh, those aren't all the way full. Don't need that at the moment. Could have gotten here. Uh, nothing too exciting there. Tons of monster meat. Oh, we've got plenty of sanity food still. We're good. All the sanity foods in there. Yeah, with the Rim World multiplayer mod, though, I think that it just, you know, everyone's active in the same world, so, you know, you can control a pawn or make him do stuff. Someone else can do stuff. So that would be interesting. So much sanity from those things. Very nice. Um, then what else do they have here? Oh, that was just general supplies. I think I just had those because it was winter time and I needed it to make campfires. Got lantern. Oh, I have a gear. What's Chester got? Nothing exciting. Alright, yeah, I think, uh... Did I have a food care package in Hutch? I don't remember if I did. You're burnt out of DST. Right? Yeah, logging in every day to get gifts. That's the sort of thing that would burn me out real fast, too. You know what? That's enough food in this. I'm going to go ahead and batch cook a bunch of stuff. Let's see here. We got the wings over there. We've got monster meat. We've got a bunch of those. Let's just make up a bunch of meaty stews. Pick these up. Give maximum freshness. Put the meaty stews in uh, bundling wrap and then call it good. Oh, that's right. I can hold the button down. Wait. Yes, I can hold the button down. I can even go like this and it still keeps cooking. Look at that. It's like magical cooking with the meat floating around us. I tried to do that while I was playing as Woodlegs and it didn't work. And I was like, oh, wait, no, I can't do that here. So then, of course, I get back to here and I... Forget to do it here when I can do it. Uh, uh, do that. There's so much meat. Why did I have so much meat? Was it from killing all the volt goats? Okay, where'd the monster meat go? Uh, is that all the monster meat I've got? Oh, there's more. Yep, I am wasting ingredients here. Because once you get sufficiently established, <laughs> nervous, you're not burnt out, not even a little bit. How are you liking Terraria, though? Fun seeing your uh, different posts there in the Discord. Bird in a cage? What are you talking about? My bird died a long time ago. <laughs> I felt bad. <laughs> Been so neglected. Yeah. I realized that I could probably, like, turn a meat into an egg, but this is enough food to last us a while. 
so who cares? It's all good. Do want to grab some honey, I think. Oh, I almost got hit and I almost picked the wrong one. Picked a flower. No, <laughs> they're not going to let me pick it. <laughs> Team Diet decided to shut Terraria? What do you mean the Steam decided to shut Terraria? Like it just stopped working for you? Alright, that's good enough for now. Oh, no, no, no! I don't know if I want that many bees attacking my Houndy Shootius. I might need to go do something about that. Nope, nope, it's, uh... Doing okay? Okay! Houndius is, is fine. I do kind of want to have more hound attacks though. Those were kind of fun the other day. See more of those varglets? Oh, Terraria crashed for him. Gotcha. Oh, we've got the name that I can't pronounce again. <laughs> I got clipped the other day. We'll just call you VD. VDF, actually. Uh, or I could call you Fuhugu Gods if anyone recognizes that reference. From the old Homestar Runner website. Alright, let's just make a couple of taffy just for fun. We'll do... Oh wait, I need sticks to do my taffies on a stick. Got no sticks. Got sticks. Forgot which crockpot I was already putting it in. Oh, it was that one! Wow, I got it right. I am impressed. Wait, one, three, eight, one. Three and fun. Oh. Hmm. You know what? Let's see what that makes. No, we'll do it this way. That should be a... Would that do a honey hammer? Does it need to be 2.5? I don't remember. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put the meaty stews in this one. I'll keep the taffies with me. Yeah, let's go ahead and open that up. And let's wrap these back up. Oh wait, I didn't pick up the potatoes. Ah, don't pick that up. Alright, there we go. Wrap that. Ah, I made a honey ham. Hey, it stopped raining! Oh, and that's right! Um, hang on. Where's... I thought I had put bundling wrap on here. Did it reset? Use now. And I do love the fact that now you can just click that and it uh, makes the rope and then makes the bundling wrap. That's pretty handy. All right, let's get younger. Go ahead and get rid of these twigs. I don't know that I'm going to need to have the grass and stuff this time. Uh, I'll just keep them with me anyways. We'll eat that meaty stew next. If our sanity gets low, we'll go ahead and eat the jelly salad. See why the twins wouldn't be fun to fight in master mode though? Yeah, <clears throat> they're they're a bit more of a challenge there. You're just doing classic, right? For most of those fights in master mode, you just want to have a big long uh, runway area. Speed is your friend. So once you get the first one down, get the steampunker, make a big asphalt area. Not too bad. And lots of times the destroyer is pretty easy to build to beat first if you get yourself the um, Daedalus Stormbow. Works real well. Not as well as it used to. Deadless Stormbow and Holy Arrows. Have you tried that combination yet, Nervous? Because that's that's good times. All the projectiles all over the screen. Got lots of mole worms around here. 
noted for future reference if I need to do a resupply of some of this meats and whatnot. Yeah, I usually try to get... Um, is it spasmatism down first, then do retinazer? Sometimes forget which is which. Alright, and this is mostly going to be an exploratory journey. Alright, we've got a light package. We do have lots of meat. I don't know why I have so much monster meat. I think I bundled that up from when I was out and about. Is that 75 hunger? Yeah. Well, good enough. Alright, let's go running around, exploring. I think I might leave the Tamashanter here. I'm not going to be using it for sanity out and about, but I am going to be needing... Uh, let's keep that on. Do I not have my miner hat? The number of times I have something in my inventory and can't find it in my inventory is not low. Uh, yeah, I think I left the miner hat. Uh, let me go get it though. Do I want to go get the miner hat? I don't know. Oh, before I actually go and find the atrium, I need to have... Do I have another unused one of those? That's the one that goes back to base. That's the one that goes to my death location where I got killed, like, very frustratingly last time. Yeah, I need to go back to base and see if I did have another backtrack watch, because setting a backtrack watch to Ancient Fuel Weaver's room would be pretty handy. Although if I just find the atrium this time, we can work on that uh, later or maybe next time. Um, so yeah, let's go exploring. So we got to figure out where are some more tentacles that we haven't done. I think I've tried all of the ones that are visible on the map. There was... One there, one there, and I'm pretty sure we did both of those. We did that one, we did that one. I think we did that one. I think we did that one, which went to there. Another one. Another one over that way? Looks like it. That was, yeah, those two we did for sure. That one came out from one of the other ones that we went to. There's enough areas, though, that haven't been explored that there's still lots of possibilities for those tentacle wormholes. So I think we're just going to be running around exploring the map. We'll just start out over there and see how things go. Every time you get a Mimic, the Mimic won. <laughs> By the time you notice it, you're dead. Yeah, Mimics will do that. They will gank you fast. Master Mode especially, man. They They hit hard. Um, do you know about making mimics yourself? You can make light keys and dark keys using the souls of light and the souls of night. And then you put one of those in an empty chest. Do that in your surface level fighting arena and then it turns into a mimic. Pretty handy. At least we're not using the, uh, the piggyback so we move extra slow. Oh, wait a minute, we're going to want a fugu hutch here. Do not tools, weapons. Oh, I don't even have the stuff to make a spear with me right now. Hang on. Go back. Get spearages. Watch him do his little flippy fin animation. There we go. Oh, I don't have uh, twigs. One flint. I keep forgetting you can actually craft out of the chest too. Yeah, the Della Stormbow nerf was definitely a big one. But first time joining. Wait, I missed. I moved. You hear Terraria keys? You love it already? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we talk about uh, more than just don't starve here. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let's do this flippy fins. This is one of my favorite animations in the whole game. Ready? Ready? I love the way he claps. <laughs> it's great. I'm actually wearing my uh, crossover t-shirt. And kind of see a little bit right there. How many meat on me do I? 
All right, which way am I going here? That down a little bit. I should probably go up around this way. Have more light. Move faster. You haven't even found one soul of night? Go find your underground crimson or corruption or whichever one it is that you have. Um, I like to always put stone for the big runway fighting area for the wall of flesh. That way it gets hit by the V2. And then as it spreads along that platform, you get enough down there that you can actually farm souls down in the underworld. Because initially the underworld mobs are not... They're upgraded versions that come a little bit later in hard mode. Although if you've already beaten one of the uh, mechanical bosses, I th think they get stronger at that point. Start getting the, the stronger red devils and some of the other things. Something like that. You just started playing this three days ago, already addicted. You started playing uh, DST? Is that what you're talking about there, big Jefferino? Yeah, they had the the crossover update. That was, what, back in the fall? Ah, uh, that one came back up. Rude. Yeah, it's kind of lame that those things respawn as fast as they do. Alright, well, let's go up this way. Get a little younger. Do bunnies aggro with bundled meat? No, they do not. So, neither bundled meat nor meat inside of Hutch or in single-player Chester uh, will cause the bunnies to aggro. So, always keep your meats in a bundling wrap or in your traveling companion. Then you'll be much safer. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure I did that one. So, we're going to go and explore this area up here because who knows. Could be more tentacles. Could be not. We'll have to find out. Hmm, kind of want my sanity to drop down. That's going to lose its perks soon enough. I'm just going to eat that now before I lose the sanity perks of the jelly salad. All right, let's go off this way first. And see what we can see. You love journey mode, hate master mode? <laughs> I actually like master mode. Uh, I don't like for the worthy master mode. I think they, but that's just overtuned, tedious, and just a pain in the butt. But I, I like Master Mode. I think it's all right. all right. I'm not interested in you, Bob. You have nothing for me today, even though you're a single Bob. Now I feel like I am obligated to fight the Bob. Uh, let's keep these over here. You know what? Let's fight the Bob. Make sure we can actually hit the bob properly. I'm not totally going to get hit by these bats too, though. That was so funny that I was getting hit by the bobs for so long because I had stupid lag compensation turned back on. Yeah, classic Terraria is just so easy now that it's just... You know, too boring. But even um, having the extra accessory slots, I just I just like that. And by default, you have one to start the game in master mode. Uh, and then we get the additional one once you go into hard mode. So that's nice. I like the versatility you get for those extra accessories. It's handy. Let's see. I don't think I want to use my lazy explorer down here just for hopping across gaps. Um, and Terraria, they, they may be working on some Terraria 2 right now. They hinted at that in, uh, on Twitter a little while ago. But they've made teasers about that for quite some time. A lot of people don't like Hutch because of his, his squelching sounds. <laughs> I think it's funny. Yeah, Expert is a good compromise. I would say at least uh, play Expert. If you've already finished the game once on Classic, then you know, go to Expert or Master Mode and then stick with that forever after, basically. Expert, I think, is still fun. Really like having the accessories. Expert accessories. <laughs> You'd probably finish one by the time they get two. Nah, you'll finish one way before that. You're making real fast progress. I was a lot slower in my first Terraria world. But I was also like, I don't know, going down, getting lost in caves, just mining around for an hour or so, not even really getting anything I need, but just doing it because it was entertaining. I used to do that in Minecraft too. Let's go get lost in a cave, see how far I could go. 
gathering all the coal and iron and whatever else I could find. I almost posted a uh, April Fool's joke about <laughs> firing up a Minecraft stream. Oh, I didn't even see that Steve there. Distracted. Bad Steve, bad. Should leave us alone if we get far enough away from his little sinkhole there, I think. Oh, we got a Bob. Bobs and Steves and Steves and Bobs. Many Bobs and Steves. We shall run. We have hopefully adequate durability that I won't belly flop. You know, what? let's do it this way. Get away from him faster. Decrease our chances of getting hit. Benefits of the ADHD, you might forget doing a lot of things. Yeah. Known to happen. That's one of the nice things about Terraria, though, is that there's so many things that you can do, and not a lot of things that you really have to do. So, like, the uh, preparing for hard mode guide that I did, I mentioned a lot of things that you certainly could do, but they're all optional. You don't have to do any of that stuff in terms of protecting your world from hard mode spread and everything else. I've had plenty of worlds where I did almost nothing before going into hard mode and it all turned out fine. Okay, we'll double back around this way. I'm not sure what I'm doing on uh, backup glow berries. More hound attacks. We got a persistent Steve here. I need to do something about that. First of all, the bats don't help. Stupid bat. Which is worse, the bats in Don't Starve Together or the bats in Terraria? Oh man, bats in Terraria? Bad news. Tiny little things, hard to target. Hard to take out. <laughs> End up playing a game all day instead of studying for an exam. That sounds like my college experience. It's all Diablo 2 for me. I binged so many hours on that game. Probably should have been studying. Still got great grades in college, though. I was one of those students in college that could just not even go to class half the time, binge study for the exams, and get lots of A's. Had a pretty high college GPA. Eh, that doesn't really go anywhere. Blue gem. That last little wingling over there. Yeah, and Abigail does do a good job of dealing with that stuff. Giving her little AoE attack. She's she's a strong summon. Free hard mode summon. Good into early hard mode. Hutch, did you get lost? Alright, switch match to uh I have any shadows chasing me at the moment, so I don't need to be using the moggles. Alright, nothing down this way. That was that whole wingling. Um, do have more up that way, though. That is where we will head. Um... Yeah, I thought that consoles and everything else were supposed to get caught up pretty soon. Ooh, many bats. You gotta be careful running around down here and reading chat. The liability. The Nintendo 3DS Terraria is the best version. It's got like tons of different stuff, doesn't it? I'm really impressed that the uh, Terraria Wiki... Oh, I just realized I'm getting wet. Impressive that the Terraria Wiki really does break things out for all the different sub-versions of Terraria. But there's like whole different hard mode armor sets and different items and ways of crafting things. I just can't imagine playing a Terraria game on a small handheld or even on phone. I just... One of these days I'll probably get it on phone, but to date I have not yet tried it.
Let's see, which way am I even going here? Grab some of these bigger plants. Phone's still better than console? Yeah, playing on console, I also can't imagine. Just the way that movement and aiming works on PC, trying to do that on console, just, yeah, it could work for me. But I'm not much of a console player anyways. I do fine with Mario Kart, but don't really play much on console. The only console we have is the Switch anyways. Speaking of which, has anyone tried DST Switch? Um, I saw Jazzy's video about it. Sounds like he was not terribly impressed. <clears throat> I've seen a few other posts like on Reddit here and there talking about it. Also not super impressed. Oh, that's actually a good sound. Uh, having an area with more light flowers would be nice. Drop that there. Put that on. Any day now, worms. Mm, I'm gonna put that armor on. Just in case I mess up. Famous last words. What do we got? We got four? All right, let's see if I can get him synced up. Enough of them, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Ah, oh, I got him unsynced. Hate it when that happens. Ah, oh, she hits so hard. Not even a granny. She still hits like a tank. That's fairly painless. I'm gonna drop a campfire, get dried off. Your only complaint would have been if they released an unfinished port. Yeah, I mean it's it's current through what the Weber update, I think, which isn't super finished, but certainly could be worse. Uh, got my backpack. Those. I should probably pick that up. Oh, does that not banish them the way that in froggles do? Bummer. Do do do. Aiming in uh, Terraria or aiming in Don't Starve together? All right, we are dried. We've got more of those now, so that's nice. We've got plenty of that. One of these had... Yeah, I just don't even care about the monster meat, really. Another light bulb, buddy? I'll give you another light bulb. Wait. Alright, ready? Flippy fins! <laughs> so happy. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go... Not up that way, we're gonna go up that way and get whatever all that stuff is. Alright, lantern, get back to your spot. Let's aim down. Steam Deck DST is fun. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of specific coverage on the Steam Deck. I know that uh, Chippy has one and has been doing some stuff with it. Chippy Gaming, the Terraria guy. 
Um, but I haven't really seen a whole lot else about it. Um, a lot of games have gotten different little update patches for it. I know that RimWorld got a, uh, ooh, all the rock lobsters. RimWorld got a little update to deal with the, uh, theme deck. But I just, I don't know, playing handheld, just the controls just don't work quite the same as doing mouse and keyboard. And of course, you know, if you're trying to like write something in text, I don't know how the Steam Deck handles that. If it ends up being just like a touch screen or touch screen, like uh, texting on a phone or something. I probably will end up, end up getting a Steam Deck at any point. I'd probably rather just get a uh, gaming laptop. If I wanted to have a mobile gaming option. Oh, look, it's Toadstool. Hi, Toadstool. The spawning of Toadstool, especially Misery Toadstool, is the most morbid thing ever. The way that the canary just like explodes. Really cracked me up the first time I saw that. That was very, very special. A little horrifying, but but special. Uh, please let me know if I run right past a tentacle because that's totally the sort of thing that I would do right now. Yeah, it is. It is like a computer. <laughs> Also, players rather talk. Yeah, that is true. You do a multiplayer stuff, just have the voice chat going. Much easier than typing stuff out for sure. Although, I don't know, it always kind of honestly it surprised me a little bit how much on the, uh, on our dedicated server, how often people do type stuff out rather than do the voice chat. Back around this way. Don't want to use my lazy explorer any more than I need to. Grab triple bulbs. This feels strangely familiar. Why would a toadstool feel strangely familiar to Wanda? They they really need to do more Wanda lore. Because some of her quotes, you're just like, huh? She knows things that she shouldn't know, but how does she know them? Why were shadow hands? chasing her around in the regular world, and she obviously knew that they were after her. I have questions! I want answers! Edgar says, what's your advice for newbies like me that can't even get to day 50? The furthest you got uh, was day 30-ish. <laughs> just keep at it. There's just... There's so many little things in this game that cumulatively add up to promoting success or spelling certain doom. And to a large extent, it just comes with experience. You know, having knowledge of certain things, yes, but just kind of knowing how to prioritize what to do when, what to even pick up when, it starts to come naturally as you get more and more experience in the game. But there's there's few uh, substitutes for just actually playing the game and gathering that experience. Um, the general play cycle recommended by a lot of people is play the game when you die study up you know read the wiki watch guides on youtube learn about why you died how to avoid that specific type of death and then play again and hopefully avoid that particular version of death the next time you oh a new tentacle we found one um but avoid that type of death again and See what else kills you, and then once you die from whatever that is, learn how to not die from whatever kills you the next time. Rinse and repeat until you're surviving like a pro. It's a really long wingling out here. You know, I can't really see the that <laughs> mulworm. Can't see the shadows as good on the swampy turf. Dodge. I don't care about the flint. Don't care about the mulworms either. Uh, let's see what's up here, and then we'll double back and go to that uh, wormhole. Yeah, I've got beginner's guides. My uh, single-player don't starve stuff applies real well to DST. I'm not sure which one uh, you said you're playing. This is like a single-player style wingling out here. Way out there. You don't see those as often in DST. Single player Don't Starve has a ton of real long dead ends like that. 
might be about time to bust out sanity care package stuff here in just a minute. Oh, that little sliver. That's going to bug me. Ah. Oh, there I got it. I got part of it at least. Let me get the rest of it. Yay. Map OCD issues. I has them. It is known. Yep, the trolling dead ends. That's totally what those are. All right, let's bust out some care package stuff. Um, actually, no, I'm going to wait till I get a bit more crazy because I don't want to get the meaty stews out since those spoil so fast. All right, let's go ahead and get Hutch over here. Come here, Hutch. Go further. Make sure he's in good range for lots of the baby tentacles. All right, that should work. Let's put on a little extra armor because I'm bad at dodging these things. Oh, that's a lot. There we go. Let's see where it leads. Jump in the slimy pit of doom. That up a bit. Charge my alarming clock up a bit. And in the big slimy pit. Where does it lead to? Fingers crossed. Oh, <gasps> it did. We found it. We found it found the path to the atrium. Um, I have no idea what you just said there, Nervous. <laughs> Continuing from your last message, he then said healing is better than armor, torch better than lantern, exploration and dying, staying at base and dying. Who said that? <laughs> yeah, we're not doing Fuel Weaver today. I'm going to have to practice Fuel Weaver before I actually tackle that. So, yeah, what? What is... Do those things hurt you? Can you get speared by those? Or do they just go up and down when you get close to them? They got super creepy versions of statues. And then there's going to be like... Hang on. Let's go. Good lighting. Yellow gem. We still have dangling depth dwellers. Might go ahead and just leave Hutch back here so I'm not pulling them down as well. Walk to ancient wet beacon. What do you do with an ancient wet beacon? I guess ancient beacon for short. All right, so we've got yeah. So you've got these things that you have to be crazy to even get through those. You can telepoop through them or use nightmare amulets. Go through that way. But of course, using the Nightmare Amulet means that you're not going to be using the, um... Whatchamadingy. Technical term, by the way. Uh, uh, use the Lazy Explorer to get through those, but you'll probably use up a lot. I think probably the Nightmare Amulet works pretty good. You want me to examine things? Okay, I'll examine things. Don't know if I want to turn those lights on. Oh, do those turn on when you activate the, uh, whatchamacallit? I know technical terms. I use very, very technical terms. Ancient wet obelisk. <laughs> it probably says something like turn back while you still can. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I could have sorted it was shorter. Yeah, <laughs> that looks awfully suspect. It's got one right in front of those. That's how is it still going? I I don't want to look at it. All right, well, we found the area. Uh, we'll have to contemplate what stuff we want to use to map this area out. I need to come back with uh, much more armor. A couple suits of night armor. Probably not drag Hutch with me. And then uh, we'll need to bring back a... Um, 
whatchamacallit, uh, back trick watch. That's what it's called. <laughs> Past this point, abandon all hope. I kind of want to place a sign there that says that. Do I have a sign pre-crafted? Oh, button that I wanted. S-I-G and I do. What should we have it say? All ye who enter here, abandon all hope. I think it needs to be... Yeah, right in between these two guys, those two signs. Or two statues. All ye who enter this place, abandon all. <laughs> I like it. And I think we need to have a... Oh. I was gonna add a big long ha 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 but... <laughs> Yeah, it makes me happy. All right, let's go back. Um, that one. And then, how good are we going to be at remembering that this is the one? I think we should be able to remember that. It's the one over by the swamp. That's the rock lobsters. Oh, we can take a bunch of rock lobsters in there. How do rock lobsters do against fuel weaver? Probably not very good is my guess. Well, hey, beverage is all gone. I've been uh, trying some coffee alternates. So sort of, instead of coffee or tea today, I actually had the Creo brew stuff. It's like brewed cacao. Like you take cacao nibs and grind them up and then brew it. And it's like a dark chocolate. It's pretty good. Tasty, I like it. Um, yeah, we found it. I'm pretty excited about that. We can just uh, warp back home. No, actually, I want to go ahead and finish mapping out the rest of this wingling, and then we'll warp back home. And maybe go hit that. Yeah, we'll just do a little bit of mapping. It's already after 4 o'clock. I don't want to go too long today because uh, kids being home early and all that. I'm sure they have aspirations of doing fun stuff. Although my daughter does have a friend over. I feel bad for my son, though, because his friend that he wanted to play with today wanted to play with a different friend. And so he doesn't have his his top choice friend to play with today. And my daughter does have her friend over to play with today. So he's a little sad, so I'll have to go and cheer him up. Uh, but yeah, they've got spring break next week. Um, I'll still probably be doing my streams per usual. Um, we'll have the room world guide coming out tomorrow. After that, I'm probably going to do another Wagstaff episode because his series is about done. Uh, and then I'll also do. Hmm. Um, Guides that I've got coming up in the near future are going to be the... I think the last guide for the Don't Starve Reign of Giants series is going to be the Adventure Mode guide. Probably do that in one episode. I don't think that'll need more than one episode. <laughs> do an Easter stream with bunnies. I, I showed... I did a picture of my, uh, my Easter cow, right? I'm pretty sure I posted that on the Discord. We've got this big cow picture in our living room and we put bunny ears on it for Easter and... Decorate it for all sorts of other holidays. It's good times. Uh, I don't know that I would wear Easter bunny ears. I could. That'd be funny. No, we used to do lots of family stuff on, on Easter. Maybe go uh, check out flowers and stuff like that. There's a big tulip festival place that we might go to. Though I think they're not open on Sundays. Land of the Rock Lobsters! Protect us from the spiders! Alright, let's get this last little wingling over here, then we're gonna bust out some food. Get our sanity and healths back up. These things are spoiling awfully fast, but I guess it's not winter so they don't get the extra duration. That is true! I could maybe do something on Saturday. Tuesday, that's a bit too late though for Easter. All right, let's uh, just drop that so I can open that. And I need some frescoes. We might need to do a round of gardening. I don't know. Let's put that, that. Let's keep one of that. Although I might not even need that. Hmm. Whoops. Broke it. 
I know I've got the other light package, but since this one's already open, I'll just put it that way. Oh, so handy. I really got to put some, like, legit thought into what all I want to have on the hot bar there. But I'm so far pleased with the crafting menu. All right, we're going to run around over here, get that last little bit, and then warp back to the base and probably go back up to the surface because I do want to see if I had any backtrack watches. If not, I might go ahead and disassemble the one that goes to Pearl's Island. Um, cause I just don't know that I have any compelling reasons to visit her very much. We already fixed up her house. We already got the Pearl's Pearl. Hey there, Matthias. Welcome to the stream. Big slimy pit. Don't think I should touch that. Wanda, not into the tentacles. Um... Does not have to be on actual Easter, of course. Yeah, maybe I could do something on Saturday. Maybe I should start a RimWorld stream on Saturday. Ooh, what do you guys think of that? RimWorld is such a good game. If you haven't tried that out, definitely check out my guides. It The game doesn't visually, like, wow you. You see it, you're like, well, that doesn't look very fun. But once you get playing it, it just... It sucks you in. You start to care about your different pawns, and if, like, one of them gets killed or something, you feel really bad. And it'll happen. It'll definitely happen. Grab these shriveled up things that are not nearly as effective. All right, which way am I going? This way. Oh yeah, don't do all caps. Um, I mean, if you're doing a little bit of caps for emphasis, that's cool. But in general, it's frowned upon. It's a little bit distracting and just kind of frowned upon in general. Um, ah, more bats. Bats and spiders. My favorite. Don't care about bones. We got a bob. Attention, Bob, off the port bow. You guys impressed with my knowledge of nautical terms? I knew that left was port. Oh, he's going after... Going after Hutch. Oh, Bob has been triggered. Oh, we got a spitter. We will run away from the spitter. You know what? I'm going to go... Speedy vision mode. Oh, we got Steve. We got double Steves. We have a pair of Steves. Not to be confused with Steve O. Pair of Steves. I totally need to make a custom t shirt that has a Bob that says, Hi, I'm Bob. And then that has a Steve that says, Call me Steve. I think that'd be pretty awesome. Wouldn't be able to sell that. I think that would be a IP infringement. Although there are definitely sites out there that use assets from games that I'm sure are not sanctioned. I saw some real funny ones the other day that my sister found. I think I saw one that was like Wilson wearing a winter hat and then it had some Game of Thrones type stuff and it just had Wilson saying that winter is coming. It was pretty funny. One of my favorites that I saw on that same website was a dolphin wearing a Loki-style helmet that said that he comes with glorious porpoise. <laughs> dolphin, porpoise, purpose. Get it? Get it? <laughs> it was funny. All right, that's all of this, Wingling. Dodge a Steve and warp. That thing is so handy. Oh, man. The mobility that you get with Wanda doing stuff like that is just mm, so nice. All right. Um. Hmm. Grab my light pouch. I got glowberries in there too. All right, we got to do some serious inventory reorganization here real quick. Let's get younger. Let's throw that one in the fridge. Let's 
drop that. And let's see here. Gotta get these all organized. Got like mixed contents here. Alright, those can just go in there for now. Got a bunch of other meaty there. Uh, and then that's just general supplies. This one, other mix. Find the icebox real quick. All right, so now what would actually make a lot more sense would be to have a bundling wrap that has a whole bunch of meaty stew, a whole bunch of greater glow berries, probably a decent amount of those. You know, I'm just going to go full stack on that. And let's do the, do the salsa frescas. And that has all of the basic consumption stuff that we need. You're at 1 a.m. on your place? It's late. Yeah, we we have an international community here of viewers, and we get people from all over the place. This time slot tends to be a little bit more popular for European viewers, which is cool. Dig that. And those. Fix those back up. Need to replenish my grass up top side. And then, what else do they have here? I don't really care about all that monster meat. I'm gonna take that back up to the surface with me. Uh, let's just wrap those by themselves. And I'll leave that up at base for now. I'm gonna need to do another round of gardening here, I think, probably. Yeah, those guys just not as potent. Not nearly as potent. Alright, Hutch, you can stay here. Go ahead and take some of that. Oh, we got Bob Guts laying around. Not about. Oh, look, a green cap. Go eat the green cap. Have I heard the word scrum diddlyumptious? Yes, I have heard the word scrum diddlyumptious. That's a very popular word by Ned Flanders on The Simpsons. I believe he says that a lot. I'm not sure if that term originated with the Ned Flanders or not, but. He's certainly well known for it. All right, let's run back up to topside base. Maybe we'll get a hound attack before we log. That'd be nice. Let there be hounds. Hi, Lever. Now oh, we got bats. That's always nice. Will they follow me across this? Yeah, they do. Bats. Not sure why I grabbed that twig. You gonna run back? You better run back. All right, um, if I had an extra back truck watch, where would it even be? Pretty sure that's the one that goes to the oh, oasis. I'm pretty sure I left the one that comes back to this base down in the caves. So that's probably the oasis. Wait, where'd it go? I got one weather pan. I need to go kill more volt goats. Is one weather paint enough to do fuel weaver? I think you want to have at least two, don't you? Ugh. There is a mod that lets you label those, right? Someone link me that mod in Discord, because I... I find this really annoying where you have to kind of guess what each backtrack watch goes to. Do I have more walrus? I have a walrus tusk! Alright. What do I need to make... Another one of those uh, gears. Do I have enough stuff for gears? I have that much through the side up here. Um, hmm. We'll have to contemplate that next time, I think. There's certainly a ton more statues that we could go mine. Different ways to get myself the Thulacite fragments. So I'll have to contemplate that. Uh, but that's going to do it for today. I got to go uh, check on the kids, see what they're up to. But good to know that I can at least make one more backtrack watch. We'll want to get all the way to the atrium. Um, and we'll obviously get a backtrack watch set there. It'll be really easy to ferry over whatever other stuff we want. 
Why don't you make more chests with watches inside and place signs in front of them? Because effort? <laughs> I'd rather just label the watches, because then I would always know. Because then we want you to take it out of the chest, then it's like, it's the same as all the other backtrack watches. I could just like randomly just click through them all too. That would be the same effect. Um, here, we'll wait until morning. Maybe go grab the, uh, wait. Those still need to get remade. Wait, I thought I picked up the... I don't know. Um... Yeah, maybe next time we'll start off with a round of our full gardening. Get a whole bunch more of the, uh, salsa frescas and creamy potato purees. All the foods. Don't really need those foods. Uh, we'll go explore all the way to the atrium, get a backtrick watch set up for that. I'll leave this one here. What else have I got? All the monster meat. More light bulbs. One cactus flesh. Got some honey in there. Don't really need that, though. We're not going to get a hound attack, are we? Yeah, I think a mod for the backtrack watch it was is going to suit my style a little better. We get my grass. Visit the geckos. Make sure there's not a lure plant in their pen again. I'm so mad when that happened. Yeah, let's go ahead and harvest it. Hey geckos. Eating the jelly beans at full health. Oh man, that's painful. At least you had jelly beans. Of course, I think the keyword there is had jelly beans. <laughs> yeah. Jelly beans not so useful for Wanda. All right, we'll go ahead and harvest the rest of this that I'm going to call it for today. Uh, I'll contemplate whether I'm going to do the stream on Saturday. I'm not sure if we got any plans for Saturday, but it is the start of spring break for the kids. They don't have school all next week, so I'll be doing a lot of stuff with them during the week. But yeah, keep your eye on the channel. The third and final part of my comprehensive beginner's guide series for RimWorld should be out hopefully tomorrow. And uh, then I should do the regular live streams next week with maybe a bonus one at some point. Because I really do want to start live streaming RimWorld. And also Project Zomboid. I really want to do a blind live stream of Project Zomboid. Maybe I should do that on Saturday. What do you think? Project Zomboid wearing bunny ears? What do you think, Sarah? Does that sound good? One of these days I'll do a full uh, cosplay live stream. I know that's popular. A lot of people do that. Pancakes, what? What are you even typing out here? F R F E F R star Sociedad. The older brother made you play Project Zomboid? What'd you think? Did you like it? Did you die? I know that uh, RHU's been doing it. Glurms was doing it for a while too, I think. Project Zomboid. I don't know if Jazzy's done Project Zomboid or not. Grab the twigs while I'm at it. I use them so much for foods. I'm really just hoping to get some hound bang like right now. That'd be nice. Probably see if my local uh, moose goose nests are active or not. You died instantly. <laughs> Great. I uh, really don't know anything about mechanics. I've seen very, very little actual gameplay footage of Project Zomboid, but not enough to really get a feel for what the main mechanics are, or how to do anything or survive. Oh, for real, that's right. Ugh. Modern culture and all of their acronyms. It's hard to keep track of what's what. Well, what's... Or are you just saying, so was it meant to be FRFR, like for real, for real? Perhaps. All right, the hounds are not cooperating. Drop those extras in there, and that's going to do it for today. So yeah, next week, going back down to the ruins. Might do some gardening topside first. Uh, go down to the ruins, get that uh, squared away, and then the time after that is going to be Fuel Weaver. So I think we'll probably, hang on one sec. Pause the game. Um, so yeah, April 28th, mark your calendars. That might be our final Wanda live stream. Next episode, we're going to focus on getting prepared for Fuel Weaver. And then after that, uh, I think we'll do, do Fuel Weaver on the 28th. Um, 
Yeah, like I was saying uh, the other day, I don't know that I want to fully active. Uh, do all the bosses, you know, go all the way to the effort of getting the Wagstaff event, doing the Celestial Champion. I just don't know that I want to do that. Um, maybe start a different series with someone else. <laughs> when we're done with everything, we burn the entire base. Maybe? That's just like... Okay, quick little story before I log off. So, have any of you ever played a legacy board game or know what that means? There's several of them out there. The first one that got real popular was Pandemic Legacy, which is a real good board game. Base Pandemic, there's a bunch of different versions of the Pandemic board games. They're all really good. Pandemic Legacy, though, it's a board game where there's a story and you play it over the course of 12 sessions. Uh, you might replay some of it, but it's 12 months of this story that progresses. And as you do it, the board game changes. You like put different stickers on the board that mean things. Your characters that you play as can get different abilities and whatnot. And at some points in the game, it actually tells you to tear things up. And my wife and I have a real hard time doing that, like physically destroying a card or something from the board game. And it's so hard to do it. And so the thought of like burning down the base at the end of the stream, I just, I, I don't know if I could do that. And I would probably save a rollback position so I could roll it back. And part of the reason that, that I wouldn't want to do that either is that I, I tend to reincorporate old bases when I'm making videos and whatnot. So I probably would keep this base and not want to burn it to ashes because that would be interesting. Um, it is true that you can only play it once. Some legacy games, once you finish it, you can continue playing it in its finished state. I don't know if you can replay Pandemic Legacy that way, but honestly, after you've played through a whole... My wife and I started playing it like three or four years ago and still aren't done with it. But with kids and stuff, it's a lot harder to do it than when we didn't have kids and would play games all the time. Uh, we actually have Pandemic Legacy Season 2 that we haven't busted open yet because haven't finished Season 1 yet. We've only got like two or three months left though and then we'll be done. But anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out with me and checking out the WX78 beta. That was kind of fun. Be really interesting to see what the final uh, product of that ends up having and how people react and uh, figure out the best ways to do it. But I will be back on uh, Tuesday next week with Woodlegs. Uh, Woodlegs, I'll probably do two more streams of his as well. There's just not a lot more that I want to do in that world. Um, and then I think starting in May for sure, we're going to start up some other stuff. So maybe I'll do like... I don't know. I think it'd be fun to do like uh, once a month, start a new game that I play. I'll The first episode is blind and then maybe the the rest of the month for that game, I'll I'll read up on wikis and try to do better. But I think Project Zomboid and uh, maybe start a RimWorld series that'll be like more consistent over more than just one month. I don't know. I'm bantering around some ideas in my head. But uh, yeah, we'll catch you later. Everybody have a great weekend, great Easter, and we'll see you later. Cheers. And the stream button.